Hi everyone. Today we're going to work on the Enduring Issues essay and we're going to use the Enduring Issues tool. This has quite a few steps. Don't want you overwhelmed. We're going to break this apart. We're actually going to introduce the essay, then introduce the tool. And this is really important for 9th and 10th grade global. So we got to look at where we're going, what we're going to do. Now, where we're going is here. This is the part three Enduring Issues essay prompt. No matter where you go and what you do, this will be the last part of your region. Now, how are we going to do this? Um, just to explain to you the first three videos, they're gonna be more to follow. We're first going to look at what an enduring issue is. Next, we're going to find the enduring issue, what they are. We're going to try to unpack them. And then the last step is we're gonna break it down we're going to only do step one of the Enduring Issues tool with a focus on Unit 5, Day 1. And we're going to actually leave you to work on that on your own. These are the titles for the first three videos in case your teacher did not share them with you. And there's going to be more videos on steps two, three, four, and 5 of the essay tool coming soon. Now, this sounds complicated. And you might be like, hey, why do I need to do this? I mean, I'm not even taking a regent this year. Well, maybe you are. Or maybe you're taking a regent next year. And anyways, this is this tool, the way historians work. So you're going to want to be on this because you're going to want to be on this essay. Now let's take this apart step by step. It says an enduring issue is a challenge or a problem that has been debated or discussed over time. Ta-da! An enduring issue is one that many societies have attempted to address with varying degrees of success. You're going to have to identify it by a set of documents then use your knowledge of social studies, argue why the issue selected is significant, that word, or important and how it is endured or lasted or come across time. Okay, let's back up. An enduring issue, according to New York State Education Department, is a challenge or problem that has been debated or discussed across time, which I just said to you. An enduring issue is one that many societies have attempted to address with various degrees of success. Um, what we're going to do now, again, is in support of your global region, or if you're not taking a region this year, what's going to lead to support for global region or the culmination of your global history and geography two class. Okay, so let's see this again. It's a challenge or problem. Society has faced it, debated, discussed it across time. It's not something that just happens momentarily. It is one that many societies have attempted to address over time with varying degrees of success, meaning some people have did a good job on it. Some people did it, okay? Now, how are you going to categorize an enduring issue? And I need to say thank you to New Visions for Schools for some of these ideas. Um, this is how you're gonna think of it. That's where that little speech bubble comes in over there, right? Ta-da, speech bubble. It is a challenge or a problem, meaning it's an issue. It existed in the past and exists today. It exists over time. It has affected a lot of people. And in the Enduring Issues essay, you're given five documents. If you're giving five documents, there needs to be evidence for the challenge or problem in at least three of the documents. So out of the five documents, you need to find this Enduring Issue in three of the documents. Now, um, your teacher may share this video with you. It's from Engage New York. New York State put together a whole explanation of the essay and how it works and what you're going to do. Actually, your teacher may actually ask you, so you see, click here to add text, the expectations for the exam and for the essay. Um, you can do that if you'd like, but I wanna point something else out to you before we go further, okay? New York State very clearly gives a list of enduring issues. Check this out. This is from 2017 and look at this list. It says, this is a list of suggested enduring issues, which is not intended to be memorized. You're not supposed to memorize the list. It's not meant to be all-inclusive or comprehensive, meaning it's not supposed to be everything, okay? Enduring issues are supposed to be something that you find throughout time. And if you look, there's a list of suggested issues, and this is not meant to scare you, okay? But they have conflict, and then they have all of these issues inside of conflict. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. So you can either be overwhelmed by this list, or you could be like, hey, wait a minute. As long as I find one of these, what they call nested issues, see that term up there, nested issues? As long as I find one of these, like disputes over waste disposal, meaning like 
how people should get rid of, it's usually not just their garbage, it's like their nuclear waste. If I find that in three sources, that's an enduring issue. And I know you wouldn't have necessarily thought of that, but instead of being overwhelmed by a list like this, which talks about conflict and human rights violations, which you probably find quite often, actually, scarcity, which means there isn't enough, power, security, population growth. Instead of being scared of a list like that, human impact on environment, impact of human on environment, tension, trade, you're going to find something in this list. You're going to be like, I'm going to find an issue, urbanization, nationalism. I'm going to find an issue in here. Impact of all these different things you're going to learn about. Migration, decolonization. Check this out. So instead of being overwhelmed by this list, which your teacher may or may not share with you, you just should be taking a very nice big sigh of relief and say, hey, this enduring issues thing, I just need to find a challenge or problem existed in the past and exists today. It affected a lot of people. And I need to find evidence of this thing in three documents. Okay. Your next step that we're going to talk about is how to actually find these enduring issues. Meaning we're going to give you some tricks on how to do this, but you'll have to watch the next video.